Yeah, we're at the track covering the sport of kings. Coming up in this week's show, a 14 to 1 shocker in Saturday night's Barbados Derby for a trainer who had never won the Derby before. At Jamaica's Caymanus Park, the seven year old gelding Mahogany snaps a five race winless run piloted by Derby winning jockey Shane Ellis. The usual riveting excitement at the rich Guyana Cup, the winner in a big upset from neighboring Brazil. Stakes wins for Barbadian jocks up north, Hall of Famer Patrick Husbands at Canada's Woodbine, and Rocco the Jocko Bowen at Thistledown in Ohio. Plus the usual check-in on other Caribbean success in North America. We're kicking things off at the Garrison Savannah in Barbados. Ten runners in the Barbados Derby carrying a purse of 68,000 Barbados dollars plus subscriptions totaling 42,750, boosting the stakes purse to over 110,000 Barbados dollars. Last leg of the Triple Crown Series this. The horses splitting the first two legs are here. Number four, the Guinness winning Philly Mercedes carrying the favorite tag with Ray Williams up, fresh from riding at Prairie Downs in Iowa, USA. And the Delano Lopez Mount, number five, the front-running Midsummer Classic winner, Showtime. Most popular betting choices for the 10 furlong run, number three, Emperor, a 9 to 2, one of only two Colts in the field. Four, Mercedes, the 7 to 2 favorite. It's 4 to 1 for the second favorite, Showtime, in post position five. Number six, Moshara, who was third in the Guinness, is at 10 to 1, to be ridden by Demaria Bino, who breaks his stint at Assiniboia Downs in Canada for this assignment. The seven horse, Delicious Angel, is at 5 to 1. Number eight, Queen of the South, who was second in the Midsummer Classic to Showtime, is at 7 to 1. And it's 8 to 1 on the nine horse, Amazing Jane, in the combox. Dean Springer picks up the call, and Showtime's gate to wire bid. As they head down the bar stretch, they pass their departure point. And Showtime, still the leader with a half mile to go, is in front by about seven lengths from Delicious Angel, who's being pushed along. Mercedes is next, then Amazing Jane. More showers beginning to run from on the outside. Queen of the South back paddling as they go past the three for long marker. And Showtime has still jumped some stretch like Old Elastic, but started to shorten now as Delicious Angel takes closer order. It is Short time from Delicious Angel down the inside. Mercedes is next one through. And there are no more turns in the Derby. And short time is clinging to the lead. On the outside, here is Delicious Angel. On the inside, here comes Poppy Hot on the inside with a ground run. It's on the outside. Short time on the outside. Delicious Angel down the inside. Poppy on. Poppy on on the inside. Delicious Angel and short time. But Poppy on has won the Derby. Coming from the back of the field early, a perfect ride this from the experienced Ricky Walcott, who was replaced as the rider aboard the favorite Mercedes following her Midsummer Classic loss, but ends up being aboard the winning horse. First of all, I say thanks to Miss Peter Odell and Jamel Lovell for the chance to ride on your horse. But yeah, I'd be pretty confident just like any other race. When the gates open, I just find myself dead last. So I just decided to just Stay patient as long as I can. When I get to the tree, it's poor, just swing her out. Long run, more for the best. And everything worked out. The 42 year old Walcott's third derby win this. Trainer Remel Perkins Lavelle celebrates his first derby triumph by Aston Martin out of the Kit Fisto Mersan Tropez. Papillon, whose groom is Roger Eiffel, also groomed last year's Sandalane Gold Cup winner. It's a gamble for Lavelle. Melrose Racing's Papillon completes a sweep for Phyllis in all legs of the Triple Crown. Papillon, the French word for butterfly, ironically the name of another Barbados Derby winning filly, Mrs. Gay Smith's 14 to 1 bet of setting in 2017. Only one win among four top three finishes in 10 lifetime starts before Saturday, but the filly flies to a career best run to post the biggest Barbados Derby upset since Nzinga's 2019 strike at 21 to 1. Papillon at 14 to 1 wins the Barbados Derby by a length over Delicious Angel in a 1 2 finish for Trainer Lavelle. Showtime was third, 2 minutes 13.40, the winning time for 10 furlongs. To Jamaica now, where veteran jockey Shane Ellis took bragging rights in Saturday's Caymanus Park feature and while doing so, waved off a brass challenge from young rider Radish Roman that he would beat him. Ellis, who was aboard the favorite mahogany in the Poor Little Rich Girl Open Allowance feature, reports that there was a pre-race message sent to him by Roman, declaring he would beat him in the seven furlong clash. Ace commentator Bran Rickman picks them up on the final bend with Ellis in front and Roman in the purple and white silks aboard the second favorite, easy as ABC, going in chase. 
mahogany has turned for home in the poor little rich girl and begins to pour it on inside the final 316th it seems to be all over mahogany is running away from easy as abc and the rest up for long to catch mahogany now getting a crack or two of that left hand stick it's mahogany and uh, shane ellis the derby winning jockey and he's going to win the poor little rich girl with mahogany under another fine ride mahogany by seven or more just days after landing the jamaica derby with chevin maharaj's crown chaser canada-based shane ellis all smiles here after steering the seven-year-old gelding mahogany to an 18th career win for his owners and trainer ian prasad the victory margin seven and three quarter lengths mahogany shows real class here in this poor little rich girl win as a three to five favorite topping the u.s bred four-year-old colt easy as abc the winning time for seven furlongs 126.47 now, Sunday's Guyana Cup experience at the Rising Sun Turf Club in West Burbis had its expected mesmerizing atmosphere. But what was not expected was the result of the main event. Defending Guyana Cup champion Easy Time and recent shippers from the USA, Nova Sol, Stat and Oive were the entries expected to dominate the near 56,000 US dollar event. But when the Brazil-bred entry Olympic Kremlin, arriving in Guyana less than a week before the race, swept toward the leaders, heading for the home stretch, the writing was on the wall for the upset. They come out from the far turn, easy time the leader, but Oi V is coming on the throat, large and second, and then Olympic Kremlin has just burst forward now, and it's Olympic Kremlin to take over the lead. Easy time in second spot, then comes Oi V, Nova Soul is running on, and John Bull, they come to the top of the stretch, and Olympic Kremlin has pulled away with the lead. In second spot, races easy time. Nova Soul is finishing, then comes Oi V and John Bull, but inside the final, it is Olympic Kremlin, and what an upset! Olympic Kremlin wins the Guyana Cup! Nova Soul runs on for second. With an estimated 8,000 plus fans in attendance, unbridled excitement at the Rising Sun Turf Club, winning jockey Acidinir Gulat from Brazil, as you would expect, overjoyed in crowded post-race scenes and for winning owner Javid Ali of Slinger's Racing Stable, the result was a fulfillment of a lifelong dream. Winning the Guyana Cup is every day. It's everything for, for a horse man. So being a horse owner, to, to get this trophy in the house, it, it means a lot. Olympic Kremlin in a shocker by 10 lengths lands the Banks DIH Guyana Cup with Acidinir Goulart aboard for trainer Linia Varea chased by the more fancied Nova Soul with dethroned champion Easy Time third 149.42 the unofficial time for the one mile trip to those stakes wins now for overseas based Barbadian jockeys Patrick Husbands and Rocco Bowen. First to Canada's Woodbine, where Husbands continues to be the stakes leading rider. Just a few days after his induction into Canada's Hall of Fame, Husbands here collecting his 11th added money win this season with a front running victory by seven and three quarter lengths aboard the six to one bet Stormcast in the $250,000 Bison City Stakes over eight and a half furlongs. No rider in Woodbine history has as many wins in the Bison City as Husbands. This his sixth aboard a filly, he says is all class. Seven for Long's out, which is the first turn. She shot right off, give me her ears, and she was just playing with him. Like husbands, Rocco Boyan also pretty much went gate to wire as he guided the big one to five favorite, fair and square, to a four and three quarter length win in the 10 furlong Governor's Buckeye Cup Stakes on Saturday at Thistledown Racetrack in Ohio, USA. Career stakes win number 63 in the USA for Rocco Boyan. Two wins on the afternoon, then a triple on Sunday. And he had his mom with him in the winner's enclosure as he recounted the dominant front-running victory in the Buckeye Cup stakes. Let's take it to them and if someone wants to go silly, let them go and sit. And I left there running aggressive and he kind of jumped in the bridle before he came past the stands the first time. And by the time I got in the back, so he dropped a bit and relaxed. Our weekly tally of Caribbean wins in the USA and Canada now before we go. In the past week since our last show, I've counted 92 victories. Among them, stakes victories for the Barbadian jockey Demario Bino, Bayesian trainer Devon Gittins, and TNT jockey Pravin Badri at the City Boya Downs, where Badri is the current leading rider. Kirk Johnson, the current number one at Fort Erie, the Jamaican jockey, had four wins, including a Monday triple. There was a Friday triple at Century Mile for the Barbadian jockey Rashid Hughes. Five wins at Gulfstream Park for the Barbadian trainer Sapi Joseph Jr., including a Friday triple. Sapi Joseph also had three wins at Saratoga and yet another win at Monmouth Park. And there were three wins at Laurel Park for the Guyanese trainer 
Somraj Singh. We've been at the track covering top stories and exciting races in the sport of kings. Check us out again next week.